All right. My name is Tanisha Gibbs, as you all should be well aware of, because we are on day three <laughs> of my social media takeover of the NG Sack social media platforms. So I am going to be elaborating a little bit more on service learning today, but we're going to be diving deep into an actionable uh, service learning project that you all can either do with your students at home or with your families, your little kiddos. They will definitely love this project. So when I think about service learning, I like to think about problems. What are the issues? What are the problems that we're facing? Um, and how can we provide easy and tangible solutions? So when I'm thinking about, you know, New Jersey reopening, child care centers reopening, and summer camps, you know, getting back started, if, if that is the case, right? Uh, I think about how can we prepare ourselves for that to happen? And so one of the things that we've seen in all of the guidance that's coming out is that we will have to make sure that we are properly uh, social distancing as well as making sure that we have our faces covered. So what we need to make sure that we have is proper PPE. And a lot of people are concerned about us not being able to secure proper PPE for our students and for our staff. So I took it upon myself to come up with a great solution for that problem. You get it? Problems, solutions, put it all together, service learning project. <laughs> so here we go. Here you see a regular, degular, schmegular sock. <laughs> a regular sock. Um, this is actually from my daughter's drawer. It's brand new. It came from a brand new pack of socks. Um, but you can go to, you know, any Dollar Tree and buy like a pack of socks. Just make sure that it's fresh and it's new and it hasn't been worn. And we are going to cut it and create a face mask. Now, what's the main problem with the face masks, right? A lot of times when you purchase your face mask in bulk, you're not able to get um, face masks that are child size. I know I personally have not come across any child size um, face mask. So what I have done is I have made my daughter face mask from socks. So today we're gonna to use just a regular black one, but get creative, go out there, buy some, you know, um, fun colored uh, face masks or ones that have avocados on it or hearts or whatever, uh, you know, you're really excited about. Just make sure that it is a great, um, a great sock, okay? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this sock, as you can see, and take my sock here and I'm going to fold my sock over in half, okay? So I'm folding my sock, folding it like this, okay? You see what I did here? Folding it, folding it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, okay? Now I'm going to cut this part. This is the part with the little footy and the top part of the sock. I'm going to cut that probably like around here. All right, and cut that here. Let's see. All right, so now you should have this, okay? You should have this. This part's gonna go over the nose, okay, every little kiddo. So now you should have this. Then what I need you to do is, I need you to fold that again in half, okay? Fold that one more time. And then you're gonna make another cut. Just make sure that everything is lined up properly, okay? You're gonna fold that in half again, like I like so. For my Tabitha Brown fans, like so, like that. <laughs> you're gonna fold this up. And then you're going to make a little cut, a little incision, if you will. All right. Take our scissors. And we're going to cut it right here. You want to make sure that you're leaving yourself enough, uh, enough room for those, for those, uh, you know, the parts that attach to your ears. You want to make sure that it's not, you're not cutting it too, too 
close because then it'll be too thin and it'll it'll kind of mess up. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can make uh, a sock mask, but I really prefer this way. And I'm going to show you why. Because the sock is washable, right? But it lets you put, you know, a filter or whatever you want to put in there. I'm going to use just a regular napkin, okay? I'm going to fold my little napkin in half, like so, like that. <laughs> I'm probably going to cut it a little bit because it's a little bit big. And I'm just putting this napkin in here just to kind of show you guys a little bit of an, the effect, if you will. But you should use a filter. So I cut my napkin. And I'm going to put it into my sock. Okay, put it into the sock. And I'm gonna flatten it out on the inside of the sock. Just so that it acts as a an extra layer of protection, you know, your, your filter, if you will. And now you'll see. We have our mask. This isn't gonna fit me because this is child size, okay? So in fact, let's see. Oh, Renee! Renee! Let's see if she hears me to come downstairs. Renee, can you come help mommy? She's been waiting for this, you guys, her debut. <laughs> Renee, can you come help mommy? We made one earlier too, a gray one. This one I did in a different way. I want to be wingman. You want to be my wingman? Yeah, I want to be wingman. Okay. And, and daddy is a beast boy. <laughs> and daddy is a beast boy. And, and so this is Renee. This is and, my daughter. Say and, hi. And, and, and Say hi. And, and, this, and mommy is cyborg. I'm cyborg. Can you do me a favor? And Can you put on the mask for the people? Um, Can you put on the mask for the people? But I want to wear this one. I know we made the gray one earlier, but let's put on this one really quickly, okay? You ready? Yeah. All right. Look at that. <laughs> What's wrong? You don't want me to put it on? You want to put it on? No. No? Let's see. Look at that. All right. Kobe is Can you show the people for me, please? Say hi. <laughs> I'm going to put it on hi. nice. You going to say hi? Hi. Kobe. So you see how you Kobe. have the mask right here? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, uh. Kobe is a cyborg. Kobe is a cyborg. Can you breathe? Kobe is loving. Well, clearly, if she can talk, she can breathe, right? All right, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs> All right, see you later. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You want to put on, the, on this one and show the people this one? Yep. Okay, you ready? I know. All right. This is the gray one that we made earlier together. And you cut it with scissors. I did. I did cut it with scissors. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put the link to uh, the YouTube where I found the different tutorials on where you can uh, create the mask yourself. Um, no sew, all DIY, and you guys can choose between the different types of no so DIY face mask that you want to make. But my challenge and my charge to you is to make at least 10 sock masks and then donate them to a local child care center or to uh, your local summer camp program because they are going to need masks 
for the children once they return. So that is my charge to you. And that is our social learning project. Thank you.